Now, those of you who read my blog know that I've used the term interregnum for about four years. And interregnum comes from Gramsci. And he said, the old is dying and the new cannot yet be born. And in that interregnum, there are many weird things that go on. And I think we're kind of in an interregnum. But let me give you a little step back and talk to you about this technology revolution that King was describing in 1968. So this is a picture of Ken Kesey and Stuart Brand. So it's Stuart Brand and Ken Kesey founded the very first network called the WELL, the Whole Earth Electronic Link. And it came out of a very hippie countercultural aesthetic of the Whole Earth Catalog. And the whole idea was that we would go from a very centralized system to a decentralized system, eventually to a very distributed system. And the first nodes of this internet, which were built with government money from ARPANET, and this is the napkin that Vince Cerf drew, were all based on this notion of we would decentralize control and we would harmonize people. That's what Nick Negroponte, who ran the MIT Media Lab, said. That was the purpose of it. So 20 years later, the graduating class at Stanford, at the Business School and at the Computer Science Institute, were led by this guy, Peter Thiel. And Peter Thiel started a magazine called the Stanford Review. And it was a radical libertarian magazine. Ayn Rand was their goddess. And they went so far as to believe that corporations should be put on platforms offshore, outside of the reach of any government, and eventually evolved in what they called the free cities model. One of the younger people that kind of followed this was Larry Page, who is now runs Google. Their motto was the motto from Ayn Rand, which was the question isn't who's going to let me, it's who's going to stop me. And Peter Thiel then founded a company called PayPal, which was based on this notion that somehow we would create a currency that was outside of the rim of government. And everything that was done was to say that government should have no role. And out of PayPal came the PayPal mafia. And the PayPal mafia now runs most of Silicon Valley. In every major company, whether it's YouTube, Yelp, LinkedIn, everything, they're all graduates. And you notice they're all men, too. So Peter Thiel had four basic ideas. One, that there should be no regulation in this new communications medium. It would not be like television in which if you said something really horrible, it could be censored or anything else like that. There would be no taxes. So Jeff Bezos ran his company, Amazon, for the first 15 years with no taxes, which gave him a competitive advantage against any local bookstore, which of course had to collect taxes. So they could never compete with him on price. There was a disdain of copyright. Copyright was not important. And finally, there should be no competition. And that sounds like a controversial thing, but you'll see where that goes in a second. Now, I mentioned that the libertarians had a problem with women. And this is a speech that, that Thiel gave at the Cato Institute. He said, the extension of welfare and the franchise to women in the 1920s has rendered the notion of capitalist democracy into an oxymoron. Now, that's a pretty controversial statement. But Thiel's thesis in that speech was that women are takers. They're not makers. That men are makers and women are takers. And so women should not have the vote because they're just free riders. 
And so, as Newswick has pointed out, Silicon Valley has a big women problem. 